All right, all right. Good morning. It's Uncle Chrissy, everybody. Thank y'all for tapping in with me today for this episode of Release Notes. Was it today is March, March, February 5th, February 5th. Going to be a quick one today, just a couple things to discuss, and then uh, we'll get everybody on about their week. Um, first off, again, thank you for tuning in. If you could, drop me a sub and throw a like on the video. It does help us out a lot. Um, to hopefully, we can continue to grow this thing and help some more people out. Uh, but like I said, not a whole lot on the docket today. Um, it's going to be, it looks like somewhat of a quiet week. Um, but let's talk about what happened late last night. So the shock drop heard around the world. Um, probably early afternoon yesterday, we saw the password page go up on TravisScott.com, uh, which is usually an indicator that something's about to drive. They put that password page up, whether it's merch or whatever, um, it usually is a pretty solid indicator that something is going to happen on there. Uh, so I was paying attention to it for most of the day. I didn't think much of it. I didn't think much was going to happen. Yes, knew he was going to perform at the Grammys, but just didn't really know what to expect. Um, and then Mohawk tweeted out last night, the Macintosh that tweeted out last night that um, that the Jumpmans were active on the back end. And then everybody started to get a little bit excited. I still didn't think much of it. I didn't think there was going to be much chance of a first come first serve drop, um, a raffle at that time of night, you know. Travis is all about the Ragers, the late night Ragers, so who knows, maybe he would have done something like that, but uh, just about when Travis took the stage to perform, the Jumpman Jacks, the, I believe it's called Sale uh, Colorway, released on the website, First Come, First Serve, and from what I can tell, they released five sizes, um, probably one pair in each, it looked like I don't know. It was absolutely minimal. By the time I got to it and I saw the pings right away, I think I saw the ping at, uh, what was it, 1043, I believe it was. I was laying in bed, couldn't sleep, and actually saw it. So 1043, I saw it, was on it right away, uh, and all I could see was a 12 and a half. Everything else was already gone, but from what I heard, there was five sizes available. Um, and then by the time I did anything, it was already sold out. So... <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I, I really don't know what to tell you. I don't know what the point is of doing that little of a drop. Um, maybe, maybe it did. Maybe it helps them out with a little promo. I mean, more people talked about the Jumpman Jack last night than I've heard pretty much since its inception, pretty much since we started first hearing about the rumors of it. Um, it drew up a buzz. It did. It really, really did. So maybe that was something that I'm not seeing on Nike and, and uh, Travis's part for generating that hype. Maybe that was the whole point of it. Maybe it worked. Maybe the pairs flew out the back door. I don't know. The friends and family pairs started showing up on Instagram uh, in the past couple days. So maybe these were leftovers. Um, maybe these were returned. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. All I know is that um, the minimal amount of success posts I saw, um, I still haven't yet to see an email confirmation. So if anybody does have an email confirmation, they were able to get through to purchase their pairs and actually got an email confirmation, please throw it at me. Let me see it. Um, you know, throw me up on Twitter. It's at uncle underscore Chrissy. Um, I'd love to see it if this was real. Um, if anybody did get the email confirmation, other than that, the few people I talked to that were able to get through and got charged, uh, their charges already fell off. I saw a lot of pre-authors last night, um, but pretty much everyone I talked to, their, their authorization, the charge fell off already. So Again, this looks like another bit of a, a ghost drop from Travis Scott, much like the uh, the golf shoes. Um, honestly, it's, I, I don't know, maybe maybe there's something to it. Maybe there's a, a reason for it that I don't know, that I don't understand. But as, as of right now, I understand why you'd be upset as a consumer. Um, as a consumer, after what happened with the golf shoes, um, after what happened with the Utopias, that were basically just a pre-order with uh, the same SKU as a GR Air Force One, the same boxes as a GR Air Force One, just had Utopia scribbled on it. Some people actually got women's pairs of those um, showed up at their door, and now this. Um, you put out five pairs or six pairs. What, that's all I can tell. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's that's all it seems. I haven't seen a single email confirmation yet, so it's kind of hard to feel bad for them. It's kind of hard to feel bad for people that are at that peak of, of you know, at, at that peak of fame. You know, people like Marcus Jordan, people like Travis, who have the world at their fingertips. And, and stuff like this happens under their watch. So it's it's kind of sad to see. Um, I understand why you'd be upset, um, but maybe there's more than meets the eye that's going on here that I don't quite follow. But I do know that the Jumpman23 IG account um, was interesting as well last night. They changed their profile picture to have the little spikes, the little flames, uh, much like you see in the Travis Scott Cactus Jack logo on the Jordans. Uh, so that could be an indicator. And then again, just a couple of hours ago, they put out this uh, kind of movie trailer-like poster 
for Jumpman Jack, uh, introducing Travis Scott as Jumpman Jack or something like that um, with uh, a coming soon message. So I would bet very heavily that we'll see a, a full scale release of these in the coming weeks. Um, if I were you, I would keep uh, alerts and notifications turned on for that Jumpman IG account. Um, they've done a lot of releases in the past through their IG shop. Wouldn't surprise me the least bit to see something like that happen again. So uh, pay attention to that. Um, and again, don't don't stress it if you didn't get through. I really don't think anybody did. I'm not sure that this was a real drop, nothing more than ghost charges. Um, if anybody does have a real charge, they got an email confirmation, a mail call, holler at me. I'd love to be proven wrong on this one. But other than that, um, not much to lose sleep over, even though uh, I think a lot of us did lose some sleep over it last night. All right, so let's move on. Uh, real quick, we got a date on that first release of the Teddy Santis for New Balance Made in USA kit. Uh, the first four pairs, the uh, the gray, black, white, and cream ones that I talked about last week are due up on February 8th. So February 8th, you'll see those releasing on New Balance. Again, it's the Made in the USA pack, so expect the extended retail. You got, uh, I think, what, two 990s, a V4 and a V6, as well as a 90, 996 and a 998, I believe. I think that's it. I'm sorry, I'm not the best with New Balances. They ain't really my thing. Um, but those are dropping on February 8th, so stay tuned. Be right there on the New Balance site. Also, we got the Kobe's coming up. Um, so these loaded up on the sneakers app already, both pairs. Um, one's called Aqua, or used to be called Radiant Emerald, but I guess Aqua's the name they're going with. And this one looks to be the sneakers exclusive. Um, I haven't seen anybody tease out raffles or anything like this. It may be real limited, um, but I haven't seen anything as far as uh, people getting these actually in store. If anybody does, I'd guess it'd be undefeated. Uh, they seem to be the go-to for any special Kobe releases for Nike. Um, but then the Court Purples, uh, looks like everybody's throwing those up already. I think Nike's got 75,000 pairs, and most of your major boutiques have already launched have already launched raffles for them. So uh, take a look down in the description. I'll put a link to the Site Supplies release calendar. Scroll down to the Kobe's. You'll find that core purple pair, and you see everybody that's got, uh, everybody that has their um, uh, raffles already open. So it's a great tool. Check it out. Find out what you can enter in, what you can't enter in. And um, again, if you want those aqua pairs, looks like the sneakers app is going to be your only chance for those. Uh, so after that, um, looks like the trophy rooms got pushed till March. I think February 15th was the date being floated around. It was never official, never locked in by Nike, but I'm hearing they got pushed till March. So uh, keep your ears open. We'll try to get you updated on that when we can. Uh, but after that, it's just the uh, it's just the breads. You know, the 17th is right around the corner. I know, honestly, I just got to take a quick second and say everybody's got themselves worked up to a fever pitch over this. You know, you can't say a single thing on Twitter without somebody jumping down your throat on the other side. It's it's a sad, sad state. It's sad to see everybody get so worked up over this. And, you know, people saying it's bricks, people saying it'll sell, people saying I hate the leather, people saying I hate the new buck. Like, honestly, it's 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 bearish. Like, I don't, I don't understand the... The, the vitriol that's going on for it. But um, I think a lot of it was due last week because everybody was so worked up of everybody saying shock drop, shock drop, all the big blogs, all the big streamers, everybody talked about it every day of the week. And the truth is there was never a single thing on the calendar for Nike for last week. It was never a real thing and everybody got worked up over nothing. Um, I'm gonna say this, you know, I talked about it last week that the stock numbers are borderline insanely high for these. Um, and since I've said that, they've gone up pretty much every day. Um, so right now there's more than 800,000 pairs of all sizes. So from preschool, to, I'm sorry, to toddler, to preschool, to GS, to men's, uh, there's over 800,000 pairs uh, sitting around right now. So I don't think it'd be too hard to cop a pair if you know what you're doing. If you've been a, a veteran sneakerhead and used to buying shoes manually, it shouldn't be too hard to come by. Um, but I will say that there's a little too many pairs for me to believe it's going to be a one shot, one kill release. Um, I believe that there will be some sort of split release, whether it be a shock drop or an EA or a sneakers pass or something. Um, but I do believe that we're still going to see something ahead of the 17th. What it is, um, I'm not 100% sure yet. That's just my intuition. So stay tuned. Uh, I'll try to get more information out as soon as I can. Um, but I do want to say that the gesture drop that Nike did last week for the Pegasus um, they didn't do that on accident. They didn't put that out there just for the Pegasus. They didn't make a big deal out of releasing the, you know, updated and upgraded gesture drop, the scratcher, just for the Pegasus. Uh, they did it overseas for both pairs of the City of Love SBs. And again, I just don't think they, they make that big of a deal out of it for just the gesture. So... If I were to take a shot in the dark just for fun, yeah, I'd say there's still going to be a shock drop with a gesture drop. Um, but again, that's just me guessing. I'm just talking out loud. I'm not going to, you know, tout that every day of the week. It's just, 
That's just something to have fun with. But like I said, the gesture drop, to me, they made too big of a deal out of it for that to be the only time they do it. There'll be more to it for sure, um, but I don't know exactly what it's going to be just yet. Uh, that's about all I got for today, um, so please drop a sub on the channel. Check out some of my other videos, some of the other release notes. I got a guide built for uh, JD and Finish Line to help folks get their pairs manually and maybe understand the EA program that they have. It is second to none, so please give that a click and uh, 10 minutes of your time. I promise you won't regret it. So that's about it. Uncle Chrissy, I'm going to sign off. Everybody have themselves a good week. Peace.